Hey everyone, today I'm just going to do a quick rundown on this pair of fake Oakley Holbrooks. Um, now, my flatmate went to Thailand not long ago and I asked them to grab me some Oakleys. Um, so, this is more of an informational video if you're actually going to purchase some genuine Oakleys so you can kind of compare this to what you're buying. Um, now, I have had a genuine pair of um, Oakley Holbrooks before, so I can kind of compare um, the traits of kind of the fake pair. So, um, initially, like, these do kind of look pretty spot on at first glance. Uh, they've got everything that you'd expect. Um, but one of the major kind of um, things to look out for and the fake Oakleys is the hinge on the frame. You can kind of see there that this is just plastic. There's no metal whatsoever in that hinge. It's just full plastic. Um, so that's kind of the major giveaway. And also you can see there where it's kind of injected the plastic into the mold. You can see the bad finishes there as well which is a pretty big indication um, of the poor quality in the plastic and just also the actual uh, Oakley logo on the frame you can kind of you can kind of see it's really uneven the metal itself is pretty uh, cheap and the mold again is pretty average as well um, apart from that just the, like the plastic in general kind of if you're just looking at it it does look fairly um, fairly the same but once you actually feel it you can kind of tell this is a bit it feels very brittle as if if you dropped it it would pretty much break um, but yeah apart from that it's kind of hard to differentiate the fakes from the real ones I um, mean you've still got the kind of made in USA the signature and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, those are the main things to look out for if you're going to be purchasing a genuine pair of Holbrooks. Um, but these are actually not bad. They cost about 10 bucks, and they are polarized. Whether or not they're actually protecting my eyes or burning them, I don't know. But <laughs> they, I don't really wear these that often, but um, they're good now and again. But anyway, if you keep an eye out for those key factors, then you're pretty much bound to be safe buying a genuine pair uh all the best guys like share and subscribe that'd be great thanks